Hello and welcome to a new series where I will be playing uh, World Waves 2. Now obviously we did have the Japan series which didn't really get an ending. Um, but I'm kind of leaving that where it was. Uh, just because it's been a while and I want to start fresh. I want to start new. Um, and I want to try and not repeat the same mistakes. So I know it's been a while on the channel but uh, here we go. Here's a new episode, new video. So who will we be playing? Well we will be starting in 1900. And... Obviously, we have multiple different nations to pick us. We play this Japan, which uh, was interesting. We get did quite well as Japan, actually, though uh, we definitely had our issues. And then we had the we have the United States, which are pretty powerful, uh, probably the second largest uh, navy in the game. Can have the second largest budget. They got a lot of economic growth. They got big technology, but they're a little bit of a sleeping tiger uh, in terms of it takes them a bit to get up there. We have the Italians, uh, which historically not doing too great, though uh, the, their navy did actually do pretty well um, for quite a bit of time during this period. Though they do have some issues like poor education, inconsistent naval policy, corruption, and the texts we get are not too useful. Uh, ship design and triple turret. I mean, we do get motor torpedo boats, um, but nothing too outstanding there. We then have the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, where it's basically, we get Italy without so many of the law negatives, but we have just worse everything else. We've got less budget, we've got, um, you know, uh, less tech, we have less research advantage. Yeah, it's, it's not great, it's not great, uh, but... It is always fun to try and make the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire work out. We have Russia. Um, quite small dock size. We also have to worry about Japan on the other side of the world. Uh, we have uh, various issues. We can become the Soviet Union, I do believe, which is always fun. Um, we don't have much bonus technology. We're pretty poor education. Yeah, there are a lot of issues with Russia. We have France which have a pretty uh, got that extra gun size 13 inch guns same kind of issues as italy bigger budget um but we have to obviously contend with germany germany uh has a lot of research advantages a massive technology leader but bombastic head of states that might mean our leader wants us to go to war uh and do certain things we also have much smaller gun caliber 11 inch compared to the french 13 inch or the british 13 inch and then we also have, obviously, the British Empire, which has the uh, biggest capabilities. Though there are some hidden flaws to kind of, you know, give other nations a chance. So, what am I really thinking about playing here? Well, we've got Germany, obviously. Now, I do like myself for Germany. I've done a Aurora Let's Play series as the Kaiserreich. But I think, you know, what's really interesting in, at the end of the day, it's doing something with a challenge. Now, obviously, the most difficult nation here is probably going to be Austria-Hungary or Italy. Austria-Hungary, you have to contend with the Italians and the Russians and then the French. Those are your three main adversaries, sometimes the British. Um, so you've got to deal with the, the Russians uh, coming down through the Black Sea. You've got to deal with the Italians and the Adriatic, and they're usually going to be the first war. And then you have to deal with the French on the south coast of France, obviously, in Morocco area. Um, I'm not going to go with Austria-Hungary because I'm not that good at the game, but it's definitely something I want to consider in the future. Italy, I it's just a bit slow, and I don't want to, have to deal with some of that stuff. So what I'm going to decide to do is I'm going to play Russia, okay? And we're going to try and uh, keep the uh, Tsar alive, <laughs> which may not be possible, but we're going to try and keep Tsarist Russia alive. We're going to try and bring glory to the Russian Navy, which is often overlooked in a lot of history. Beat the Germans, beat the Austrians, um, and hopefully win World War One. So that's what we're going to do. Our opponent nations are Germany, Austria-Hungary, uh, the UK or Royal Navy, uh, France, Japan, and the United States of America. So let's uh, go with that. We're going to go for a medium fleet size. I'm going to put historical resources on. I'm also going to put harsh peace deals on because I do like harsh peace deals. 
and we're going to go for i'm not going to do a manual build legacy fleet because i think that takes away some of the challenge i like the manual build of that legacy fleet because it shows you know, you got go and work with what you got um and that's why i think i did the same thing with japan so we're gonna go and we're gonna see what we get hopefully we get some decent ships to start with all right here we are ladies and gentlemen we are russia in 1900 so let's have a look at our possessions on the map people so in western europe we have the baltic states controlled by us obviously now in this time period we controlled pretty much up to here uh we also obviously have western russia and we have finland which we can lose we need to be careful of that in the east we have uh the port arthur and the lao tang peninsula we have uh, the Russian Far East and Vladivostok, which should be uh, down here, Vladivostok. And then also we have uh, Sakhalin, as well as Kamchatka. So we control from west to east, and we've got two main initial adversaries at the start of the game. Those are going to be the Japanese, and there's going to be the Germans. Now, historically, Russia didn't have a too good of a time against the Japanese, as we saw in the last game, and also in history. Uh, this is because you have to split your fleet and russia was not well known for its navy at the time and they had a big voyage that went all the way around here and ended up in them going mad and dying to the japanese at the battle of tsushima point is we don't want to repeat that so the first thing that i'm going to aim to try and do is make sure one we either don't go towards japan and if we do go to war we win the war there isn't too much we can gain from japan we could gain taiwan we could gain Hokkaido, I think, but we can't gain, obviously, Japan itself. So, there's not a lot of gain here unless we manage to take some of these unclaimed lands. So, I'm not really wanting to focus on this. I want peace in this area. What we do want to try and seize, though, is uh, gain he hegemony, or hegemony, hegemony over the Baltic. And also get out of the black sea and get a colony in the mediterranean so that we can start basing things over there so i think the first target i want to go against is going to be the italians which is why i'm going to put the italians um actually we can't fight the italians hmm i see no we should be able to fight the italians i guess they're just not on the map hmm, interesting uh not our opponent that's interesting so i'm gonna put germany on high i'm gonna put UK on low. I'm going to put France on low. We want allies with these two. I'm going to put Austria-Hungary on high because that would give us some experience. We can fight the Austro-Hungarians there. Um, though we'd obviously have to move our fleet around into the Mediterranean, which might not be too good. This is the main issue is, is fleet basing for Russia. It's always about this fleet basing. And yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult. So let's have a look at our ships. Okay, so uh, we have the Retsavin, uh, let's Retsavizian class vessel. It's a fifteen thousand ton uh, battle uh, ship, uh, specifically a pre dreadnought. Goes nineteen knots, has four twelve inch guns, ten inch belt, two inch deck armor. Overall, pretty okay. We then have the Razivia um, armored cruisers with two ten inch guns. Weird design. Weak armor. Not something that I'm too big of a fan of. They're also costing us a pretty penny. We'll have to keep these for now, though. We then have the Palada, which is a decently armored light cruiser. We have three different kinds of destroyers. We have a longer range, or two different kinds of destroyers. We have the long range Bravi class with three torpedo tubes. And then the shorter range. Uh, Bernie class, which is l smaller and has a uh, 400 ton displacement with only two torpedo tubes. So, obviously, we've got our coastal destroyers and then we've got our, um, you know, longer range destroyers. So, the first thing that I'm going to do then is I'm okay with this navy. I want to get the uh, battleships on the way, but we're going to need to start saving money. So, I'm going to put our battleships into reserve. Then I'm going to put everything else into a mothball for now. So, mothball. There we go. So, that saves us quite a bit of money. 
we can then look at building some new ships. Now, we could build the rest of the class, and honestly, I'm thinking we might want to do that. We currently have an Imperator Nikolai under the way, though. So, Conning Tower, Torpedo Tube, 1,500 tons, 18 knots. I'm not a big fan of this. This just seems like a worse version of the Retzivian. And assuming we can build a Retzivian with our own shipyards, I guess can we not? Was this built somewhere else? Might have been. It's got 412 inch. We might be forced to build the Emperor to Nikolai because we only have 1500 dock size. Uh, we can start building another one. I think I'm going to cancel this. Yeah, let's cancel. Scrap. So that gives us actually a large chunk of money to play with. Um, and I want to immediately begin ordering. Let's have a look at the Almanac. So currently we have a budget that's on par with Germany or France. We, our enemies are building battleships. They're also building armored cruisers. And we're also quite behind in light cruisers. But we are ahead in destroyers. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do then is let's have a look at some of our uh, designs. So we have the Retzivian is built in the French. I see, I see, in the French Navy. Um, I'm going to order a couple of those up then. So we're going to order up the Retzivian class. We're going to order up two of those uh, to be built. And that'll take most of our budget. That'll be done in France. So we're going to try and make sure we're okay with France. We want to be okay with France. We're building outside of the country for now, um, which is okay. In terms of our destroyers, I'm going to order up... I'm not going to order up any more destroyers. How much is this going to cost me to build? If I want to build some more light cruisers, which I think we'll definitely need. 538. I do not want to keep building these heavy cruisers or, or armored cruisers. I'll, I'll get a replacement for those eventually. We have the Diana and the Pallada. Uh, can I have a look at what exactly those are, please? The Diana. Diana is 21 knots. Uh, medium range, five inch guns, torpedoes, and then the uh, Palada is much bigger. Okay, we're gonna go for smaller light cruisers then. This will cost us 538, so I'm gonna order an initial one up. We're gonna probably need another one here soon. Now, let's have a look at our research. Um, naval guns is obviously something you want to keep on top of, but not super thing right now. Machinery development, I think I'm going to put to high because we want to get uh, steam turbines. We want to get a dreadnought as quick as possible. We want ship design high, and I want turret and gun mountings high. Those are the three things I want, and I also want fire control high. Uh, damage control, we're going to put to low. We're going to put torpedo warfare to low. We're going to focus on big boy battleships. So torpedo technology low. We're going to put submarines on low. We're going to keep... So that's 4-4. Four, four. We're going to keep naval guns medium. I'm going to put shells on low. Put this to high. Um, the rest can kind of stay where it is. I don't have an issue. I'm going to increase the budget to 12. Um, actually, we may want to halt that. Yeah, we're going to scrap that. So we're only just going to build two new uh, dread, pre-dreadnoughts and get them underway. Um, we're not building up our dock size. We'll get our monthly balance sorted. Uh, in terms of our doctrine... I'd like to get gunnery, but we don't really have the money right now, so I'm just going to hold off on that. All right, let's go into the next turn then. Let's start. Uh, Nine-inch coastal battery in Austria-Hungary led down a battleship, a pre-general of the reach allow class. Caught that. Uh, we managed to get blueprints for the reach allow class vessel, four 13-inch guns. That's their equivalent. They got bad deck armor, though. Um, definitely more firepower, but this is more like an armored cruiser than a battleship. 17 knots, 1350 tons. I'm not scared of that at all. Uh, lots of coastal batteries being made, and the USA has increased their naval budget, apparently. Uh, we've also figured out a Argonaut. This is a Royal Navy vessel. That's fine by me. And we're going to go into next turn. Oh, that's not good. Okay, the British really didn't like us for some reason. That's uh, not what you want to see. Uh, so next turn, a spy has been discovered. Yes, let us denounce the Germans. That gives us budget. That budget will then allow us to build a light cruiser, which is what you want. Uh, that's fine. Uh, derail plans, please. That would be good. Increase the tensions. We can't afford that, unfortunately. Halt construction, please. 
Uh, with tensions low, there's out. You're reducing naval spending? Okay. Ooh. The U.S. wants to enter a five-year security arrangement between our nations. Um, yes. Let's do this. Our budget is going to lower, but it secures our Pacific possessions. If Japan declares a war, we are fine. There we go. Treaty negotiated with the United States of America. This does obviously set our budget back a lot. Um... I'm going to have to scrap that. I'm going to have to wait for our budget to increase. We might have to, I'm going to halt momentarily on one of them. But we do have the United States. That did lower tensions. And that does mean that we've secured like, our Pacific possessions. Now we just have to worry about the uh, UK going to war. Um, the Tsar has returned from a state visit to Great Britain. Bringing home a proposal to solve outstanding source of tension. What is your response? Uh, yes. Bring the tension down with Britain. We cannot go to war with Britain. We... we actually just cannot again our budget has just lowered massively but it's worth it to not go to war with uh, gb crop armor we've gained fire control a bunch of improvements that's fantastic news um i'm gonna resume construction on that let's get that on the way tensions are lowering which is good we do not want an early war right now uh the steel industry yes let's get the steel industry up there. that's fantastic uh, more money, more money for the Navy. Um, and then next turn, Britain has increased their naval spending again. We're getting more tensions. Uh, secondary battery. What I'd really love is an alliance with Britain or France. Because if, if I'm alliance with either, we can then look at actually attacking the Germans. Um, because an alliance with Britain would, or France would basically mean we could have superiority in Northern Europe. And we could then obviously win uh about make the agent a national hero yes um let's not do anything with uh france let's try not get into war with france a war with germany not too bothered by because the americans do have a ridiculous number of battleships they have 10 battleships germany has two so if we get the americans over here maybe we can do some stuff I'm also want. I'm also think we're going to want to move some stuff over to Northeast Asia, so I'm going to move the Imperator Pavel, as well as two armored cruisers and four destroyers, over to the Pacific. Um, I also need to start building some corvettes here soon once we have some money. So we're going to go for Northeast Asia. We're going to move those. Those will take obviously some time. We unfor we should be able to transit through the Suez Canal. I hope. Um, again, we're having budgetary issues here. I want those battleships out for this potentially next war. Uh, but I'm going to have to halt construction on that because our budget is just lower. Germany is increasing their naval budget. The UK increased their naval budget. France has laid down another battleship. Uh, the US is loving us right now, which is uh, good news. Uh, so where is our fleet right now? So uh, Russian fleet, yes, we did manage. We did manage. So we're going to be able to get our boys over here, which will secure our eastern possessions and make sure that we can obviously take out the German territories. Now, do we have an invasion range? We do have invasion range. So we can take China. That's what I really want against the war of Germany is either uh, you know East Prussia or, or uh, Kiaochow Bay or maybe some territories down here. So I don't really want to overextend here because this is mainly um, French and English clay. So I just have to keep in mind about that. The Tsar wants you to deploy your nor forces, additional forces in Northern Europe to the aggressive means by the German name. With current strength 18, require ships 35. Uh, as part of that, the threat from Germany rising, the Hawk Party managed to pass a bill authorizing additional funding. Yeah, I, I, I get that you want me to do that. The problem is I don't have 35 ships total. Um, I don't have the money for 35 ships. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that mate like uh, i can't afford to uh to construct that i mean we'll have those two more battleships done soon which will be good but we now have our ships in northeast asia which is nice um 
No, we will fight the Germans. We will fight the Germans on the beaches and in the seas. A um, lot of funding actually coming through here. So, I want to design a Corvette. Um, also design for a Corvette. 900 tons. That works for me. Yep. I'm happy with that. And this entire, entire point of this is going to be for defensive reasons. Okay, we're going to increase tension with Austria-Hungary. And we're going to build ourselves five corvettes. We'll have a battleship done shortly. Uh, signaling improvements. I'd love an alliance with Britain right now. I'd really like an alliance with Britain because we might go to with Austria and Germany at the same time, which would not be a good thing. Uh, more coastal batteries in Northern Europe from the our enemies next term. Um, Japan building more armored cruisers. I can see that. Uh, let's get this guy under construction. That will be done next turn. The Imperator uh, Peter Valiki is completed construction, which is good news. We can have the shores of 600 tons. And as part of that, I'm going to keep building out Corvettes because we will need Corvettes to be able to do trade protection. But... We do now have more battleships on the way, and Britain also has now battleships in the area. The Naval Secretary has read a book on naval strategy extolling cruiser warfare. We must build at least four additional cruisers. Um, we can do this. We can do this, actually. Uh, four CLs or those. We will cancel. So that's about 10k. How much will it take to build four light cruisers? 2,000. Okay. We can hold this for a bit. And we can order up four light cruisers to be built. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Britain is offering to sell us tech. Yes, please. Gradual fire improvement control. Um, and the halt construction on U3. The Peter Veliki has finished uh, its workup. I'm going to put that into a reserve. You two need to be put into, ah uh, yes, reserve fleet and mothball. There we go, mothball, mothball, mothball. You need to be put into reserve. There we go, that saves us our money. And we're going to get that attention. I don't want to go at all with Austria-Hungary as well, even though Austria-Hungary is not very powerful. Uh, gradual fire improvements, fantastic. We're now in 1902. Um... Okay, our balance is working out. We can start resuming construction here. Um, and we'll also be able to start resuming construction on that shortly as well. Uh, you're receiving much praise. Fantastic. Uh, let's not worry about it. Let's not start a war offense. That's not something we want. Uh, we managed to gain the knowledge of reliable pendulum mechanism. Interesting. Very good. Um, I would like to look at some coastal fortifications for the Baltics soon. Uh, French battleship, unexpected ship signs. So enable secondary wing turrets. That's good. We're getting close to a dreadnought. So Germany have mainly armed cruisers. They have two pre-dreadnoughts. They have their light cruisers. We have more destroyers. We should be able to take Germany in a fight. Oil discovered. Oh, that's historical. Uh, issue an ultimatum. Okay, we're about to go to war with Germany. But no, we found oil in Kamachka. Uh, which is amazing news. That does now mean that we are able to build oil firing ships once we have access to that. Which is fantastic. Though we are about to go to war with Germany. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Resume construction on that battleship. Get that thing as quick as possible, please. Uh, we need good guns. We will buy the improved 11-inch guns. They've stolen tech. Let's not take that back. Hulk construction again. God, we're having such financial issues. I feel like I'm playing Russia again. A regional war seems imminent in the Balkans. Now, one thing that Russia did at the time was trying to be the protector of Serbs in the Balkans. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do this. War between Germany and us. And that does also obviously bring the United States into the war. Um... We are now at war. So, mobilization. Everything to mobilization, please. Uh, you need to be put into trade protections. We're going to put our short-range 
uh, vessels into trade protection. So Germany in Northern Europe right now has two battleships, two armored cruisers, nine destroyers, and a corvette. We outnumber them. In Northeast Asia, they have one armored cruiser, one light cruiser, and one destroyer. I'm hoping the Americans will have positioned forces. They have three dreadnoughts in Southeast Asia. We'll be able to deal with that. I think we'll be okay here. We'll see what happens. I am going to begin an initial invasion of Eastern Prussia. Oh, we can't do Eastern Prussia. Um, can we do this? Yes, we can. We're going to do Kautschau Bay. I'm going to halt construction for now on one of these, on two of these guys to make sure that we're not going to a deficit while we fight the war. Um, and yeah. Cruiser action. Here we go. They decline the battle. Convoy action. Here's our first engagement of the day. We have light cruiser and four destroyers. And our objective is to sink trawlers. So let us begin. Unknown ship sighted. Squad Max. That's the Hansa class armored cruiser. If we can get between them, we can do some stuff. What kind of capabilities does this have? Two nine inch guns. It's not that scary. Yeah, we're getting past the Hansa. We're going to go straight in, and then they can't really hit us too well. If we go there, we can destroy the trawlers really easily. Get hit by a torpedo there. More torpedo hits. Our destroyers are just going to run rampant in here. Killing them like fish in a barrel now. Just keep sinking them. Our destroyers are going in. Oh, some destroyers from there. Let's turn. Hit another vessel with a torpedo. That's good news. We want to sink as many of these guys as we can. Division 2 misunderstood. Okay, we're going to go for the trawlers down here. I'm sure it's kind of doing weird stuff. Another hit into a torpedo on that destroyer there. That one's burning. On this troll, that is. We're hitting those destroyers, and then we're going to try and hit this trawler here. We sunk six. We're getting out of here now. Faster. Let's leave. We did our objective. I'm happy with it. The armed cruisers warding us off a little bit, but we sunk a plenty of trawlers there, which is definitely a job well done. We're going to head back to a Baltic port. Um, as the cover of the night uh, gives us an escape. So that was just a battle north of Gotland there. Not sure Gotland's that big on the actual map, but, you know, I don't know. Or, or in real life, anyway. And end the battle. There we go. Um, yeah, we sunk seven. We did a bunch of damage. Ship score three, but they won still. Uh, ship lost. Bonus for ten surviving merchants. Apparently, we didn't do enough. Well, that's unfortunate, but uh, pretty marginal victory for them. We are trying to invade, obviously, that Chinese possession. Operations of our allies are doing us a really good job there and getting us victory points. Uh, we're starting to get our Corvettes into the field, which is fantastic. I'm going to put these on trade protection. That means I can relieve these. Put these into active service. And that does also mean that I can start resuming some of these guys to begin construction. War B. Tension with Germany is 50. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, cruiser battle. They decline. Destroyer action. Here we go. Destroyer action. That's a lot of destroyers. Uh, this is going to be a bit uh, strange. 
unknown ship detected. Yeah, we have more destroyers than they do. We should be able to uh, to win this. Get us up to speed, please. I'm just hoping that the number of ships will uh, be able to beat this. Ooh, ship. Uh, two destroyers just collided there. And then we're just going to... God. Yeah, it's a bit fast. It's a bit fast. Uh, bring that to normal, please. We're going to try and sink as many of these guys as we can. <sighs> we just got rammed. And it's sunk because it got hit by a torpedo. And they're fleeing as well now. Now we're going to get out of here. Looks like they're destroyed the better than ours, I think. Feels like it. But we need some light cruisers. No, they've only got two inch guns. We should be able to rip through them. We've got three inch guns. But we've run out of ammo. I definitely want to get a destroyer with more ammo. Alright, let's pick it back to Riga. I'm not too fussed with this fight. Get back to port. There we go. They get a slight victory there. I'm not too bothered. Two more corvettes. Uh, and we managed an invasion of Kiao Bay. Fantastic news. So that means that we're gunfighting over Kiao Bay. And that should hopefully lead to us winning that. And if we win that, we will take that territory. Cruiser battle. They have declined. Coastal raid. Two destroyers unable to take part. Light cruisers. We've got two light cruisers here. Uh, or light cruiser, we have to go bombard, sink two ships, any two ships, got it, a Legoland, a Legoland, uh, we have two battleships just wading through here, it's under AI control for some reason, no idea why, well, there's a couple trawlers here which we can take out, and a patrol boat, Yes, pick up survivors, and then we'll go kill this patrol boat, and then we'll get out of here. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. We've sunk two ships. Let's get out. Pick up the survivors, and then we can leave. Some more skirmish, and uh, just get out of northern air. They've got a lot of um, coastal defense batteries, so we just need to be aware of that. And time should be up. There we go. We win the battle and we actually gained quite a few victory points for that. Three Corvettes commissioned. Uh, yes, let's get that technology. That's great. And our trade protection just came up, which is also nice. They'll be getting worked up. And then we also have also our battleships um, being built, obviously. We'll have a formal light cruisers to the table soon. An enemy raid on coastal shipping. Okay, this is a bigger boy engagement. We will see what we can find. We've got three battleships here, three pre dreadnoughts the Retsvian, the uh the Pervnets, and the uh Imperator Peter Veliki. See what we can spot. They're trying to raid into here, which is a bit ridiculous for them to try. We'll, uh, what's the visibility like? Oh, we actually spotted an enemy. Okay, maximum speed on our battleships. Get me a view on that light cruiser, please. We got a single armored cruiser. Okay, I want you to keep. Ooh, battleships. We have enemy battleships. All right, light cruiser, move off, please. Let me get our battleships over. We have 
one battleship detected, two heavy cruisers so far, multiple destroyers. Okay, two confirmed battleships of the Wittelsbach class. Uh, 18 knots, four 11-inch guns, bad deck armor. Our battleship should chew them up. We've also got more. So we're going to start firing from rangers. Now, if we have a look at this is our main gun range. So we're currently just about to be out of range. We're going to keep our light cruiser at the head. The wind is uh, uh, going up. So they'll be firing... We'll be firing smoke back into us, which is not great. I'm going to make a turn then. So that the smoke is a better situation for us. We're also going to try and kill this Hertha class. Down here. Okay, yeah. We got a nice hit on that, uh, that Hertha class. We are taking some of our own though. I'm going to keep the light cruiser in front. We got the Hansa class to our south. We're going to try and get in between. Keep the light cruiser safe. We're going to just fight this gunfight. Wait, do they have another? Oh, yeah, it's just a heavy cruiser. That The heavy cruiser is pretty big, though. No, not that big. We can sink that pretty easily. Uh, one of our destroyers has got hit pretty hard, actually. Must have taken a 12 inch shell, unluckily. We are hitting them. I do not think we're too big. The Hertha class, ha Hertha class has pulled away. Okay, they're turning around. We're going to turn with them. How fast are they going? They seem faster than us. 15 knots right now. We are going... What's our current max speed? 18 knots. Okay, we're going to follow them up. Copy that. Light cruiser move over. Let's go back to let's go to normal speed. Let's slowly keep hitting them. There we go. We're getting those direct hits, and you can see there. Wilt's back hit, Wilt's back hit. We're coming up right behind them. We are taking some fire on the Rets V in here. Minor, we're taking some medium hits, nothing too major. A heavy hit on the Pervanets, but we are still okay. We are still okay. We want to nail these guys here. We are closing the distance as well, which is going to make ourselves a lot more lethal. Oh, the Retsvian taking some hits here, though. 12 medium, 1 heavy. Uh, forward gun turret disabled. Uh, that is not what you want to see. Uh, get me the Pallada back, please. We are getting close in range on this uh, Hertha class. Okay, we're going to prepare to cut them off here. Yeah, we've returned to a longer range engagement now. There they are, slowing. Looks like the Retsfeen has managed to repair somewhat. We've got that forward turret back online. It's returning fire now. They're, f they're not going abreast, which is obviously... They're going abreast and not going in a line, which is a bit weird. We are slowing down, though, because our coal stokers are getting a little tired. The actual people on the police ships, because they have to stoke the fires to keep the speed going. Um, to keep the steam, uh, keeping the ships moving. That might mean we end this engagement pretty uh, anticlimactic. Uh, the Pallada, come on. Get some hits on those Wettles backs. I really want to kill these battleships. Because if we kill these battleships, we basically win Northern Europe. So we're just going to keep following them. They're definitely not completing their objectives, though. That's for sure. Okay, the Hansa class is going to come back into some decent range here. Yeah, the Stokers are exhausted. I'm going to bring us back to cruising speed. I don't think we can continue this pursuit. Start bringing them back to cruising speed. Let's get the Stokers in a better, better place. Don't want to run them too ragged, otherwise we do obviously have some issues if we do do that. So we're just going to continue following them from distance. It's also cloudy. They're falling back, looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, we might be forced to, uh, to return to base. Yeah, we're going to head back now that it's night. There is no reason to continue that engagement. 
Um, yeah, unfortunate we couldn't get any kills here, but we didn't lose any ships for it either. Hopefully, maybe we got a couple good hits. Might put some of them in dry dock for a little bit of time. That might give us some uh, supremacy for a short period. Uh, so we did win. Uh, because obviously they didn't manage to sink any ships. Uh, we did light damage to some of their dreadnoughts. They did light damage to ours. It was pretty much an equivalent trade. Um, we got a little bit better because obviously we were the defenders. Fighting continues. Uh, we also lost a Russian merchant ship, which is not great. Fuck, yeah. Fr French have, the French have seized our ship, which is uh, not what you want to see. Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to stop building for now. I do want to start getting our dock size up at some point. Uh, next turn, fleet battle. Error in place ships at screen point, division. All right, fleet battle. All right, I'm going to leave the episode here um, as we prepare for a fleet battle. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Really, really this help me out. Special thanks to those of you who still are members. It, you know, it's obviously appreciated. You don't have to be considering the lack of content. Um, I'll see you guys on the next episode, which will hopefully be out sometime in the week. And uh, yeah, goodbye. You guys have a great one. Uh, we'll be back next when we uh, continue to try and beat the Germans in the, the Russo-German War of 1903.